Dear class, uh, this week we're going to talk about uh, adrenal and sex hormone. So this is the first part on adrenal hormones. The adrenal glands consist of the cortex and the medulla. The medulla secretes epinephrine, whereas the cortex secretes two major classes of steroid hormones, the adrenal corticosteroids, including glucocorticoids and mineralocorticoids and the adrenal androgens. Hormones of adrenal cortex are used in replacement therapy, in the treatment and management of asthma, as well as other inflammatory diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, in the treatment of severe allergic reactions, and in the treatment of some cancers. Secretion of adrenal hormones glucocorticoids is controlled by pituitary adrenocorticotropic hormone ACTH which is released in response to the hypothalamic corticotropin releasing hormone. Glucocorticoids serve as feedback inhibitors of corticotropin and corticotropin releasing hormone secretion. The adrenal cortex is divided into three zones that synthesize various steroids from cholesterol and then secrete them. The outer zone, glomerulosa, produces mineralocorticoid, for example, aldosterone, which are responsible for regulating salt and water metabolism. Production of aldosterone is regulated primarily by the renin angiotensin system, which we'll talk more about in uh, antihypertensive agent. The middle zona fasciculata synthesizes glucocorticoid, for example, cortisol, which are involved with normal metabolism and resistance to stress. The inner zona reticularis secretes uh, adrenal androgens, The adrenal corticoids bind to a specific intracellular cytoplasmic receptors in target tissue. This mechanism requires time to produce an effect, but other glucocorticoid effects, such as their interaction with catecholamines, immediate relaxation of bronchial musculature, musculature have effects that are immediate. Cortisol is the principal hum, hu, human glucocorticoid. Normally, its production is diurnal, with a peak early in the morning followed by a decline, and then a secondary smaller peak in the late afternoon. Factors such as stress and levels of circulating steroid influence secretion. Glucocorticoids favor gluconeogenesis through increasing amino acid uptake by the liver and kidney and elevating activities of gluconeogenic enzyme. They stimulate protein catabolism and lipolysis, thereby providing building blocks and energy that are needed for glucose synthesis. By raising plasma glucose level, glucocorticoid provide the body with energy it requires to combat stress caused by, for example, trauma, fright, infection, bleeding, or debilitating disease. However, the most important therapeutic property of glucocorticoid is their ability to dramatically reduce the inflammatory response and suppress uh, immunity. Mineralocorticoids help to control uh, the body's water volume and concentration of electrolytes, especially sodium and potassium. Aldosterone acts on kidney tubules and collecting ducts, causing a resorption of sodium, bicarbonate, and water. Several semi-synthetic derivatives of glucocorticoid have been developed that vary in their anti-inflammatory potency 
in the degree to which they cause sodium retention and their duration of action. Replacement therapy for primary adrenal cortical insufficiency, such as Addison's disease. This disease is caused by adrenal cortex dysfunction, as diagnosed by lack of patient response to corticotropin administration. Hydrocortisone, which is identical to natural cortisol, is given to correct the deficiency. Failure to do so uh, results in death. Cushion uh, syndrome is caused by a hypersecretion of glucocorticoids that result either from excessive release of corticotropin by anterior pituitary or an adrenal tumor. The dexamethoxone uh, suppression test is used to diagnose and differentiate the cause of Cushion syndrome. This synthetic glucocorticoid suppresses cortisol release in individuals with pituitary-dependent Cushion syndrome, but it does not suppress glucocorticoid release from adrenal tumors. Glucocorticoids dramatically reduce the manifestation of inflammation, for example, rheumatoid and osteoarthritis arthritic inflammation as well as inflammatory condition of the skin. The common side effect of long-term corticosteroid therapy are summarized in the figure. Osteoporosis is the most common adverse effect due to the, the ability of glucocorticoid to suppress intestinal calcium absorption, inhibit bone formation, and decrease sex hormone synthesis. Patients are advised to take calcium and vitamin D supplement. The classic cushion uh, light syndrome, that is redistribution of body fat, puffy face, increased body hair growth, acne, insomnia, and increased appetite absorbed when excess corticosteroids are present. Increased frequency of cataract also occur with long-term corticosteroid therapy. Hyperglycemia may develop and lead to diabetes mellitus. Diabetic patients should monitor their blood glucose and adjust their medication accordingly. Hypokalemia caused by corticosteroid therapy can be counteracted by potassium supplementation. Withdrawal from this drug can be a serious problem because if the patient has experienced uh, HPA suppression, abrupt, room, abrupt removal of the corticosteroid causes an acute adrenal insufficiency syndrome that can be lethal. This risk, coupled with possibility of psychological dependence on the drug and the fact that withdrawal may cause an exacerbation of the disease, means the dose must be tapered according to the individual, possibly through trials and error. The patient must be monitored carefully. Ketoconazole is an anti-fungal agent that strongly inhibits all gonadal and adrenal steroid hormone synthesis. It is used in the treatment of patients with Cushion syndrome. Spironolactone uh, this anti-hypertensive drug competes for the mineral corticoid receptor and thus inhibits sodium reabsorption in the kidney. It can also antagonize aldosterone and testosterone synthesis. It is effective against hyperaldosteronism.